Is SpaceX immediately rescuing the Boeing Starliner astronauts after the president's post? No. That is not what's happening. Let's break down this frankly bizarre situation. If you followed my extensive coverage of the Boeing Starliner mission, you know that last June, Boeing launched on its first crewed flight test to the International Space Station with two astronauts aboard, Butch Wilmore and Sonny Williams. It was supposed to be a minimum of about eight days. Well, problems with the thrusters and helium leaks meant that after extensive tests, NASA decided that they did not want to return Butch and Sonny on Starliner. Instead, the two astronauts became a part of Crew-9. This mission launched on a SpaceX Crew Dragon in September 2024. The plan was that Butch and Sunny would remain on the ISS until this mission was over, which was scheduled for February. This was decided back in August. Well, NASA did have to extend their mission further because processing of the Crew-10 spacecraft, which is, by the way, a SpaceX Crew Dragon, wasn't going to be completed in time. NASA likes to do an in-person handover between space station crews, which means they want an overlap between one crew's launch and another crew's return. That means that Crew-9 won't return until the end of March after Crew-10's launch. So now we get to this lovely turn of events. The president posted that he wanted Elon Musk to go rescue the Boeing Starliner astronauts. Apparently he wanted Elon to go personally to space to get the astronauts. NASA sent out a statement as follows. This may seem like it says nothing, but it does confirm a few things. Basically, that nothing has changed. They managed to do this without contradicting anything the president has said. Crew-9 will come home after a handover with Crew-10. They can't really launch Crew-10 before late March. Butch and Sunny will probably come home in late March. This has been your breaking news bulletin that absolutely nothing has changed.